Hey guys, it's Tom from Allen's BMX, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Allen's BMX Resto Show. We're continuing on with our 82 TA project here for a customer in store, and today's episode we're going to go through the restoration of the Skyway Tough 2 mags. These are the original mags from the bike, they've got the alloy hub centers, and they're in pretty good condition, apart from just being a little bit crusty. Uh, you can see by the tires there, they're pretty old, they've kind of been stood for a while, and the centers of the hubs are going to need quite a bit of work to kind of get them up to standard. Now the idea is to not give them back to a high polish, they're never high polished hub centers to begin with. So to start off, obviously we're going to be whipping the tires off and getting all the inner tubes out. And then we can continue on starting to clean up the hubs and do a full hub service. The wheels are pretty crusty. There's lots of cobwebs and all sorts of leaves and other things inside of them. Some of the wheel nuts are also quite stuck onto the wheel. As you can kind of see, the freewheel is kind of a bit rusty there as well. But to get the even the axle nuts off, we have to use a spanner on the cone nuts just to get the other side off. So it is quite a bit rusty. Once off, we can then remove all the cone nuts from the axles. And it's pretty cool, these ones have the slotted front axles, which we sell a lot separately for the new Skyway mag wheels. But inside, like like the when we pulled the bike apart in the first episode, the inside of it's really clean. Once you kind of get these bits apart, you can clearly see it's not been that thrashed in terms of bad weather riding and stuff like that. So once you kind of get it all apart, it will clean up quite nicely. You can see a bit of rust on the end there and a lot of caked on dirt. So we'll just clamp it in the vise using a bit of plastic protection not to damage the axle and get all these off. We're using the same rust solution that we used in the first episode. So if you want to go check out that episode and we show you which one we're using. So once we get all the parts off, we just dump it all straight into that solution and let it soak. Next step is to get all the old bearings out. Uh, like I've mentioned earlier, a lot of the bearings in these are actually really clean. Uh, you'll see the front ones are pretty much brand new. But we are doing a full hub service, so they all got to come out and we're going to be putting fresh bearings in. Now, cracking the freewheel off, this one was a lot easier than we expected. A lot of the time after 30 years of riding, dirt, rust, everything, they can be pretty hard to get off, but we had no problems with this one at all. Now the freewheel's finally off, we can see the extent of all the dirt and crud buildup on the inside. Nothing too bad though. My colleague here is using a Stanley blade uh, to kind of just test out how baked on the crud is. It's on pretty thick. So secret weapon is the 3M Scotch Bright pads. These things are absolutely amazing for getting rid of a lot of kind of crud and kind of surface stuff on top of uh, aluminium and steel. It doesn't damage it underneath too much and we're actually going to be going for a brush finished anyway, so perfect for our use. Some of the harder baked on stuff we can use a Stanley blade. As long as you're using the correct angle on the blade, you're not going to be introducing any surface scratches or anything to the aluminium, as long as you're very careful, but it does help you get into these more tight corners where the scotch pad's not going to quite get in there. So after a lot of time and effort, you do end up with some pretty tidy wheels. It's going back and forth with the blade and the 3M pad, but you can see it's already starting to tidy up quite nicely.
after a good hour or so, you'll end up with something similar to this. So there's still a lot of work to do, but we're looking much better than when we started with. Now it's all in the details, so making sure we're getting into that Skyway logo and getting all the dirt and crud out of there. We're getting there, it's starting to look quite nice. Finally gotten the cotton buds out, so we're using a mixture of degreaser and standard kind of bike cleaner to tidy these up with the cotton bud. Cotton buds are really handy because you can kind of get a decent rub into tight corners without damaging anything. The unfortunate side of using cotton buds is you do end up using quite a lot of them. And uh, yeah, it's not very good for the environment. Back to the 3M pad, trying to get it down to that kind of brush finish, get out any kind of imperfections or scratches into the center of the hub. Again, we're not going for a polished finish. These were never polished. They were a brushed, like, kind of straight CNC finish kind of style. So we're trying to replicate that the best we can. And finally, time to clean the mag wheel itself. Now we're just using standard WD-40 bike cleaner in this instance, and a lot of elbow grease. So again, busting out the cotton buds to get in the corners. This is probably what takes the most amount of time when you're cleaning a pair of mag wheels. But yeah, just continuing around. A lot of elbow grease. And there we go, one side done. It's a night and day difference between what the original side was versus the fully cleaned side. So now it's the super fun part of getting in between the center hub and making sure that's clean. So we just cut up a rag and kind of fed it through, as you can see. Nothing too groundbreaking, just again, a lot of effort, a lot of time. And here you can see the bearings are just taken out of the front wheel. They're actually pretty new, although we will be replacing them, but for some reason they do look great. Uh, there's our little tub of all our anti-rust de-rusting solution which everything is getting put into there and it's going to end up soaking for a couple of days uh, here we are just tidying up the ends of the axles using another one of the 3m scotch pads this time the green one just to kind of get into the grooves of the axle making sure that there's no kind of rust or anything that's going to catch on when we start ending up putting it all back together so we're pulling it all out the rust solution it's been a few days now so we're just kind of pulling out all of these. This actually has all the parts from the bike that we stripped that we're going to keep in it. So some headset parts, stem wedge bolts, stuff like that. But we're just going to fish out all of the parts that we need. All our cone nuts and uh, bearing covers and start assembling. There we go, one front wheel complete, adding some fresh new axle nuts and washers on the end. 
and it's complete and ready to go. So that's the front wheel. The back wheel is much the same process, again, just on reassembly. Nice and smooth. The only difference on the back is that the back spacing is slightly wider, about 10 mil, so it has these washers in it. But once we get it all nipped up tight, it's all good to go. The final thing to do is to put the bearing cap covers on, make sure they're flush. We're just using a socket uh, that's the correct size and just tapping lightly to seat those correctly. And then a bit of a final cleanup and a freewheel and we're good to go. If you like the t-shirt that my colleague's wearing here, the Owns BMX Old School Cool shirt, they will be available up on our website shortly and they're also available in store in every size from small to extra large. Now the final thing to do is some fresh Comp3 tires from Tioga, they still make these, and some new inner tubes. And the wheels are done. And here they are, out in the sunlight. It's a pretty night and day transformation, to be honest. Uh, changing from the original wheels to this tidy up wheels here, you can still see some brake marks on the side of the wheel, but once they were on the bike with the brakes and the customers riding it, it's not going to make any difference anyway that but huge difference uh, with the fresh freewheel, nice chrome for Jerry freewheel and uh, fresh Tioga Comp3 tires. So yeah, from the old to the new. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Find us on Instagram. And if you like the video, hit like and hit subscribe. We're going to be doing the rest of these episodes in the next few coming weeks. And the next episode will be all on the frame getting repainted for the customer. If you're interested in having your own bike restored, then please get in touch with us. All our contact details will be below. And if you want some parts for your old restoration build that you want to do yourself, check out allensbmx.com. Thank you very much for watching.